Welcome back to AC's 8-Bit Zone. This episode is packed with content for you. I'll show you a bug that was in the 1982 game Canyon Climber. Then I'll show you a patch that I made to fix that bug for Septandy 2022. Also, I'll show you how Coco DV can add 16 colors to the game. And finally, I will preview some uh, information for you about how to get around FPGA shortages due to the global semiconductor crunch. So let's go ahead and get started. At the time of this recording, the Color Computer 1 is turning 40 and Canyon Climber was released 40 years ago in 1982. James Guerin and Steve Bjork programmed this marvel for Datasoft, copyright 1982. There are three levels and the first is called the crevasse. Mountain goats try to knock your climber off the bridges. You need to dodge the goats and set two dynamite charges on each bridge. Then you must reach the plunger to discharge the dynamite to blast your way into level two. On the second level, Indian Hills, deadly arrows are shot by the hostile Indians. You must jump the arrows and reach the ladder at the top of the screen. There was a little Easter egg in this level for me. So back when I played the game in 1984, I never knew about the shields on ramps 1, 3, and 5. Either that or I forgot about them since then. Anyway, if you jump, you can reach the shield and then have a brief protection from the arrows. So a few weeks ago, I was studying the disassembly and found a little data section that draws the climber but holding a shield. I truly thought that I'd found a hidden secret in the game that I could possibly unlock. A couple days later, I found a description online and then came back to this level and tried it out. I was amazed at how I had no recollection of this feature. The third level is Eagle Cliffs. Now watch for the first bug. You're supposed to continue jumping higher and higher to reach the top. However, if you jump back down, you can cause the climber to hang out in midair. Any joystick press left or right will immediately lose a life. I don't believe the programmers ever knew about this one because normally you'd keep holding left during the jump and immediately fall. The other bug is more of a little feature where the edges of the cliffs are a bit brittle. If you approach an edge like this one and then you back up, you fall. Okay, here is my patched version to correct those two bugs. So the first level and second levels are exactly the same as before, so we'll zip through those. And finally, we're back to Eagle Cliffs. Let's try that left jump again. Okay, now he falls like he should and loses the life. If you read the manual, it does say going backward loses the life, but it doesn't appear that they had any idea that if you're not holding left, that the player will get stuck in, in midair. Now let's check the the edges of the cliffs are not as finicky. See, I can approach the cliff, now back up, and I'm okay. So with those two patches, I feel like this level is a lot more playable than it used to be. And we're up and gone. One interesting thing about this, this last scene where the player falls, the mountain goat hits him, and in the programming, he actually loses a life, but then it adds two lives back. 
So in the end, you, you get one life, one extra life every time you pass the third level. And then the game wraps back around to the crevasse and the speed ramps up. Now I want to show you a 16 color version of Kenya Climber. This is made possible by Coco DV and the new graphics modes. So I've I've adjusted the game so that the the marquee so that the marquee text down at the bottom scrolls through the 16 colors, and uh, I've changed the uh, the background and foreground colors and and the colors of the sprites. And now I want to address the FPGA shortage. Until Altera FPGAs have been in short supply for over a year now, and they're just close to impossible to find and there's really no end in sight as far as I can see. So one way to get around this problem is just change FPGA manufacturers. I'm taking a look at a, a newer FPGA manufacturer called eFenix and uh, eFenix is, is able to supply material through the shortage. I'm not sure how they're doing it but if you look at DigiKey, there is availability of their parts. And I have a project in the works to redesign the PCB for CocoDV to fit this new FPGA from Ephenix. And uh, that's coming along well, and I'm going to be coming out with videos on that project. If you'd like to see that content, definitely subscribe and, and put a note in the comments that you want to see more on that. I don't know if I'll show just the finished product or if I'll show some of the steps in how to, uh, how to use an FPGA in your own retro projects. So definitely let me know what you'd like to see by noting it in the comments. Now back to the game. So I'll show you a few of the different color combinations uh, as it, it rotates through every level and changes the palette each time. Here the, the water is still blue, but the, the canyons that were orange are now yellow. On to level two, now we have a, a blue background. Remember how I said you could pick up the shield? Okay, here I pick up the shield and the shield times out and you have to be ready to jump the arrows. <laughs> and I quickly, I quickly burned through all the extra lives that I gave myself. Okay, let's try again and we'll see a few more of the, the new color selections. Okay, now on the first level, the blue is now purple and the background is a yellow. I'm leaving the sprite colors uh, as the same three colors each time, but you can choose any, uh, any three colors that you'd like from the palette of 16. Okay, now we have a, a blue and orange. These are the throwback colors to the artifact mode of the Coco. And I like this combination on level three, the yellow boulders and the light blue sky. Okay, here on level one, we have sort of a light moss green and a, a medium blue. Oh, and now I've, I've changed the color of the player sprite because the other colors clashed and he didn't, he didn't show up very well, so now he's mostly white. and Indian Hills in yellow and purple. And Eagle Cliffs, here we have the uh, throwback colors 
orange and or orange red and and sky blue Okay, that's a wrap for this episode. If you'd like to see me finish Pac-Man in sprite graphics, go ahead and click on subscribe. Uh, or if you want to see a new version of Coco DV with a new FPGA, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, that's all coming up on new content later from AC's 8-Bit Zone. See you next time.